Sage CRM provides a powerful set of sales pipeline management tools, and the process begins with your salespeople entering their opportunities into the system. In this tutorial, we'll focus on just the basics of creating an opportunity in Sage CRM. And once you've begun to enter opportunities, then you can take advantage of Sage CRM sales reporting and forecasting tools. And one last note before we jump in. Sage CRM allows you to create custom workflow that follows your sales methodology and guides your salespeople through the process. Alternatively, you can progress your sales opportunities manually through your sales cycle. It's your choice, and for this tutorial, we'll use the manual method. So now let's jump right in and create a sales opportunity. Let's locate our sales prospect by right-clicking the finder and searching for Mark Carter. And note that we can enter partial information for our search and then click Find. And then we'll move down to the results grid and open his record. To enter a new opportunity, you can either go to the left side menu, right click on New and select New Opportunity, or you can open the Opportunities tab and click the New Opportunity button on the right side of the page. Because we're creating the opportunity from within the context of our contact, Mark Carter, the company and person fields are filled in automatically. Moving to the Details panel, we'll enter information about the opportunity, starting with a short description and some details. Note that any fields marked with an asterisk are required. We'll select Trade Show as the source of this opportunity, although as you'll see in a moment, we can be much more specific regarding the source. And for Type, we'll select License, and we won't touch the Close field until our sales cycle is completed. Importantly, your system administrator can easily edit the items on any of the selection list fields or add new fields to match your company's needs. And now moving on to the Wave Activity field, this field allows you to track the specific source of this opportunity and the return on investment of your marketing campaigns. Using the Finder, we'll go ahead and link this opportunity to a specific trade show that we've attended. Moving to the Status panel, this is where you'll enter and update the information that's most important for your sales forecasting and reporting. Let's set the stage to lead, and the status will leave as in progress. We'll enter a forecast amount of 15,000 and a certainty of 25%. Let's leave the assignment to John Finch, and finally, We'll need to enter a close by date which is important because it will determine in which quarter's forecast this opportunity will fall. And now we'll save the opportunity. Now let's suppose that you've had a meeting with your prospect and you've qualified that they have sufficient budget for this potential purchase. So now you're ready to move the opportunity stage from lead to qualified by clicking the progress button. We'll open the stage field and choose qualified and we could update the other fields at this point as well. Also, we're given the opportunity to schedule a follow-up task immediately after clicking Save, but for now we'll pass on this option. And finally, let's add a short tracking note that helps document the progression of this opportunity, and now we'll go ahead and click Save. Now let's take a quick look at the Tracking tab. Here you can see that each time we progress the opportunity, the updates are recorded here, documenting the movement of this opportunity through your sales cycle. Also, notice that opportunities have their own set of notes, communications, and documents tabs for entering additional information, scheduling tasks and appointments, and storing related documents and files. Ultimately, you'll progress this opportunity until it's won or lost using the methods we've shown. By having your salespeople enter and maintain their opportunities, you'll then be able to employ Sage CRM's powerful sales forecasting and reporting tools. In subsequent tutorials, we'll show you Sage CRM's forecasting, quoting, and order functions that are integrated with the opportunity system. Give us a call if you need assistance with sales opportunity management in Sage CRM. And if you're not using Sage CRM, here's another reason why you should consider it for your company. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.